it's Guido coming at you with the Tactics Talk. Welcome back, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate, as always, all the support. Jeb from Clan Tread. I think he's changed clans again. Clan Tread. He's anonymous. He cannot, he cannot be seen. Don't even look at him. Just pretend he's not even there. All right. Sue 100, Tier 6, two-tier battle. We are on Himmel's... Where are we? Himmel's Berlin Dorf spawned onto the west side. Interesting. And he wanted us to take a look at this. He said me, but I'm bringing you along for the ride. Take a look at this and see what he could do better. Well, let's see. Right off the bat, we are bottom tier, but only one tier. We have a couple artillery to worry about. This is TD uh, Palooza. What on earth? All the <laughs> okay. All right. All the top tier. All the top tiers are TDs and an arty. Wow. KV2. Wow, that KV2 has got to be salivating. There are some juicy things to shoot over there. Minus the SMV 56, which Jeb's team has one of one as well. That's more or less a heavy, especially depending on how it's played on this map. This is a standard battle, and Jeb is running in here with an IA to improve his dispersion. He's got a rammer, vents, food, and a couple kits. He's got 25 gold rounds, so he's rocking the... Well, we'll have to get going to see that. So he is rocking a... Well, I'll have to wait for it to go to see that. There we go. So he's got a 235 pin or a 175 pin. And what is this thing? 300 alpha, I believe. 250. 250. Not as much as I had thought. Is this a, like not a the top gun? I don't know. I'm going to have to look that up. I don't know that offhand. I used to know the stats a lot better in this game. There are so many tanks now that I do forget, especially tanks like this that I don't run across much in terms of me playing them. I see them in the game quite often around this tier. Pretty good little tank though, to be honest. Decent accuracy, as I recall, for a Russian, although he is running an IA to tame that and some food. So maybe it's not as good as I remember. 250 Alpha, that's okay for a tier six TD. And we're gonna go over to the south, all right? Working down the way back, we're going way back. The way back mission. What is this guy back here doing? Hey, dude, what are you... <laughs> I guess there's shots down there or something. I don't know. Firefly is absolutely ensured he's not going to get spotted. And we've decided to go somewhere else. Okay, so we drove that way. We said too many people. Let's go this way. The T-50-2 kills. T-50-2, a little T-50-2 on dash 2 violence in the middle. And our scout wins that fight. All right, that's good. That's good. Having somebody there to kind of keep an eye on people moving around is a good thing. Sometimes they can get cheeky shots, but he's abandoned it. Okay, so he just wanted to kill the other guy and then come out. Jeb is completely changing sides here. He sees he's only got a KV-2 and a 150, but they've only run into the M6 so far. I'm going to tell you what, this is kind of a... It, I don't want to say it's standard, but it is a not unique situation, let's put it that way, where you've got a team of a lot of mediums and TDs, and everyone goes to the medium TD spot, and the heavy spot is kind of left open a bit. Now, as I sort of suspected, the CC-56 is gone over here. He's taking on the T-150. We've got two M6s, so it looks like the enemy team has invested a lot more on this side. And also in our SM, I didn't pay attention to what he has been doing, but he's finally moving this way, it looks like. The KV-2 has followed Jeb around the corner. 150 is doing a decent job holding on here. Now Jeb's looking for a shot in the St. ML. One thing you do want to watch out on this little corner here is that the artillery can range and hit that. So Jeb is coming around this way. We're gonna get some sneaky shots on some M6s. Uh oh, found that guy. And right away we, oh boy, armor not hit. Ooh, 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 get back, the M6 reloads pretty quickly. All right, this is what I was talking about earlier, fellas. There, the enemy isn't in the middle bunker over there, so it's, I won't say it's necessarily safe to be here, but it's safer, obviously, than if someone's in that bunker. So pay attention when you're trying to cross this particular road right here, who owns the middle. More than one person has raged across going either way not really paying attention to somebody being in there and just getting plinked to death by a light tank or a medium. Not not a factor right here. So Jib's kind of pinning down that M6. Our, our SMV has moved up, but the T-150 died. Okay, let's see how they work this. Rocking back and forth. He is coming. He's coming for him. 
Okay, puts a nice shot on him. Maybe. Ooh, all right. So what I would say there is I saw what you were trying to do is, is get away. If you know his gun's going to clear, go ahead and come back towards him and, and put an angle on it just so you can get a lucky bounce. This thing doesn't have fantastic armor, but you really gave him some side. And it looks like maybe you were thinking that we're just a little bit late, so just watch out for that. That's just one technique. Fellas, if you know you're going to take a hit, it's better to try to do a little shimmy shake and a weagle, a weagle than just sit there. Even if you think your armor has got it, just move a little bit because if they're aiming for a lower plate, a weak spot, a track, whatever it is they might be aiming for, you might be able to throw that off. And oftentimes, if they're going for a weak spot, I mean, say you've got that tank that's got good armor. We're going to go off in a little tangent right here. You have that tank that has good armor, but it does have that one weak spot. If you move a little bit, he may completely miss because weak spots tend to be what? Lower plates that are thin, hatches that are usually small, unless it's an American tumor or something like that. But the space around it that's not a hit is a lot. So if you move it a little bit, they may just completely miss your tank vice, you know, that center of mass shot. If they are going center of mass, maybe they think they've got the pen just to punch right through your, your upper plate or whatever. Put some angle on it. Try to just, at, at the point which he fires, you know, wiggling back and forth, give him that angle that's going to be just enough. Or maybe if he's trying to follow you, you know, he's old like me, he's got the palsy and he can't quite aim nicely. Maybe his mouse sensitivity is goofy, whatever. He may just clean miss or just take a shot in the wrong spot. So... Always better to be moving your tank if you think you're going to take a hit. Dead horse beaten. Oh, there's 8th Hussars. Nice. So 8th Hussars is in his T-78. He's sneaking around behind him. Jeb tells the KVD. I like that. I don't think, obviously, and everyone would agree with me, that poking around the corner again with the 200, sorry, with 141 hit points is not the answer here against two M6s. Your 6 o'clock was secured for the most part while those two were there, although now where everybody's kind of moving in here. My concern with stuff like this, and we'll see where the KV-2 goes, is everyone goes pushing here and then that CC-56 sneaks in behind. So we just got to kind of watch that. I like that. That was good, Jeb. They, pro they may have seen the CC coming in, but maybe not. So sitting back there, if they decided to push you, all of a sudden he's in front of you and he's hurting them pretty bad. And then If he can surprise them, that's great. Looks like the M6 is going after 8th Hussars. Yep, so he chases that guy, not liking the fact that they are surrounded, so we didn't really talk about that till right now, but when 8th Hussars came in here, he peeled that M6 away, and that's huge for this. Now we have an overmatch. Got a KV-2, a RCC, a guy that's got to be really careful. One shot, 8th Hussars is probably going to pay for this with his life, but he peeled that M6 away, at least for the moment. Nice. Yep, so he's staring. Now he's dead. Wow, okay, KV-2 nuked him. <laughs> We're going to come in here, and unfortunately, he's been able to turn around. So either he comes out and YOLOs you and gets nuked, or he sits there and gets nuked. All right, I like that. Kind of pinned him down for a minute. He maybe even thought about it. If he had come, in at, come at you, maybe he gets you, but he also probably pays for it with the rest of his tank against those two guys. I like this. Go ahead and uh, sneak around. Now we got to be a bit careful thinking about who may or may not have come back around. If we take a look at the light bulbs, my friends, what I'm talking about is up here. You will notice that there is not a tank unspotted. Currently there are some tanks that are not lit, but they've all been spotted minus the GW Panther. In fact, did they lose an artillery? They did. A Hummel died. Fantastic. So you do have to worry about maybe one of those guys who's dark down there coming back, but holy cow right now, Look how many are lit up. All kinds of them. Oh, yeah, I think we missed that shot there. All right, cool, we got it. Let's just back that up. I want to see what you're doing with the camera because this is actually a pretty important point. All right, so we come around the corner. Watch what you do with the camera. Do, 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 do. Cruising along, cruising along in my automobile. Yeah. So this, this is something, and you were pretty quick with it, but it's something I try to do a lot, is I move my camera. If you watch my replays, it, it looks like the herky-jerky, but I'm always kind of looking around. When I'm, when I'm flanking someone like this, you're looking for that, right? You want to see if you can get a shot on them. Now, that wasn't very obvious where he was, and I don't know if I would have necessarily seen that, but there is an opening right there. We do see it fairly quickly. There we go. just takes a while to react, I think, and that's Jeb's view right there. Good news is we see it. We sneak a shot on him. Get a nice little kill right there for 10 hit points. All right, so nine hit points of overkill. <laughs> and 
And this is looking good. Let's come on in here. There you go. Just zoom in. This dude's kind of hanging out in the open. What is he even behind? I have no idea. But now he is back in garage. Nicely done. And I would agree with this. Just hit the W and just kind of start searching around for those shots. See if you can zoom in. Yeah, what do we got here? Oh, this is fantastic. We're just going to gobble up some more hit points. There's one. No sense in moving. Ah, oh, bummer. The Excalibur is now blocked by the dead guy. That's just one of those things you got to deal with. Happens. Not much you can do about it. If you're extremely clever, not in this particular case, but if you're extremely clever, sometimes you can shoot the guy that isn't going to block you and then go after the guy that's closer. That's a really high SA situation, but I have managed that on occasion. It's more applicable, I think, to brawls. So you don't kill the guy that's right in front of the other and give him armor. Kill the guy behind him, and then the guy in front doesn't have the armor. And it's just a romple stomp at this point. We've got three kills, 788 damage. And, man, I wouldn't stop. I would keep going. You never know, man. You never, never know. I guess he's... Yeah, just spin around. You might be the first one to get there. Let's go to T25. Might beat you, but head for that bridge. Yeah. The whole team went through that back corner. I'm imagining that Skoda T25 might get there first, but who knows? He might light him up to where you can get a shot. I like this. There you go. There you are. Ah, bummer. Probably not going to get that shot. Go grab some hit, some cap points. Why not? Uh oh, are we going to get it? <laughs> T25 must be reloading. That thing reloads pretty quickly. Nope. AT got him. All right. My only comment there is I wouldn't have quit. I mean, sometimes you do, whatever, you got to go get the phone or you're tired of the game or next or whatever. But uh, if you're chasing hit points, go for it. Just turn around and go to the nearest position where you think that bloody arty is going to be. Obviously, if it was a much closer game and you worried about him shotgunning, you might have waited for your friends and all that good stuff. There's a lot of what ifs, but in this case, who cares? You're going to win no matter what. Even if you shotgun Jim, maybe you get the spotting. That's the other thing I think about when I do that. If I'm charging in with low hit point thing like this towards an arty, I don't necessarily care if he kills me, to be honest. I meant rather that I get the kill if I could. But if I can light him when he shoots me, now I have the spotting. So I can just get a little bit more XP, a little bit more credits, a little bit more crew training, and everything is wonderful in the world. So nicely played, Jeb. We, uh, we deployed and went to the south. I thought that was kind of interesting. And then it looks like you noticed there was a bunch of guys going there and not much in the north. And I like that you turned around and supported them. To be honest... It's an interesting thing here because you sort of, you gave up some hit points, but you gave up hit points keeping them from wrapping around your guys or gathering position. If they were smart at all, they'd have pushed you and taken you out and then got around the side of the other two heavies. Because to be honest, they had you guys outnumbered there. But when you showed up and dragging along the SMB, then it became a more, a closer battle. But that being said, that's hindsight. It's very possible the game was early enough they really hadn't figured it out. Like, where is that? enemy SMV is what was in their mind. We knew where theirs was, but they didn't know where ours was till it came in. So you got that chess match thing going in, but it turns out the hindsight piece of it is they should have just swarmed the two heavies there, taken them out, then they could have swarmed you and the SMV, and it might have been a different story for the game, but that's not how it played out. You got in there, kept the M6s busy enough until they uh, had to get peeled out. Nice job by 8th Hussars getting around behind them, dragging one of those M6s off, and then it was over. Once he got around behind and drug one of the three off. The four of you ganked those two guys, or three, whatever's left, I think three at that point. And pretty much the, the fight was, or the roll was on. Of course, the South just won wholesale as well. All the Most of the tanks alive were from the South. All right, guys, appreciate uh, coming by, checking out the video. Eighth Hus or sorry, Jeb, I hope this one helps you out. Let me know what you think. Anybody who has any other great advice, chuck it down there in the comments as well. That's all I've got. Have a good one. We will see you.